Welcome everyone. This is the Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach Meeting. It is the 14th of January. Thanks for being here. And reminder that we are on the, uh, that we uh, adhere to the Jenkins Code of Conduct. Be nice to each other, please. And this is being recorded. Recording will be posted. All right, so agenda topics that I see here, the FOSDEM stand, Olivier, the, contrib the Contributor Summit, Olivier, you had a topic, Jackie, the CDCon call for proposals, and then marketing ideas for 2021. Any other items that should be added to the agenda before we start executing on the agenda? Would it at all be um, in line with what we do to, to have a mention of GSOC? Oh, yes, absolutely. GSOC uh, status report and call for uh, mentors and uh, project ideas. And I assume, Carl, we put you on that. Okay. Other topics. Jackie, is the, is the, the report for CDF done? for to meet your I, needs um i'm still building it um so but marky already sent the blog over so i just need to build out that section um i can i think i left off with like the jenkins graduation so i can share that <laughs> but okay, it's not so, done yeah <laughs> okay but cdf final report uh It'll, we, we have met our commitment yes you have met the commitment okay great to deliver on time. Very good. Well done. Thanks, Marky. Thanks to everybody who contributed to that. Okay. Any other agenda topics that we need to add? All right. Then let's, and we can certainly add and extend the agenda as needed. So I'd propose we start with Olivier, I'm going to mute so that my clattering keyboard does not distract. Sure, so let me start. So basically for the context, uh, FOSDEM will have a stand um, at FOSDEM this year. So this year FOSDEM will be online because of the current uh, situation um, everywhere. So what will I have? We'll have access to three um, website, which is stand.fosdem.org slash stands, where we can highlight some projects um, related to Jenkins. Um, we can, I mean, it's like a mini website that people will use if they want to look at the Jenkins project. We'll have um, a G access to GT if we want to stream um, presentation. And we'll have access to uh, a chat where people can talk um, on various topic. So the first them this year uh, is the first weekend of February. I think it's the six and seven uh, of February. Yeah, it's the first one. Um, and it will be also over the weekend. So um, it starts from 9 a.m. in the morning, um, Belgium time zone, and it ends around 6 p.m. Basically, so we now have to see how we organize the prisons um over there i think that would be nice to have all i mean to have a list of contributors sorry for the background sound um uh, we, we would be nice i think to have a list of contributors who are interested to share the, the contribution they did to the project and maybe have some um yeah key people where people could have a talk right That's basically the current state for, for, yeah, sorry. So Olivier, with regards to the um, stand, um, so Mark and I spoke about getting volunteers to help staff the stand. Um, I know you and I, we chat to see what are the specific timing, but are there instructions on um, what people need to do in order to access if they're gonna volunteer to help? Um, so we have, we, we should receive instruction uh, to participate mm -hmm. in the chat um, and the same for the video. Everything is getting published um, in 
at, at the moment. I mean, for instance, the, the I have I received email two days ago for some instruction related to the to the stands. So okay. what I think would be nice is to already have a list of contributors. So we are sure that we don't have contributors waiting uh, during the two days. And so if people are interested, let's say, to have a chat about the, how the Git or communities or whatever the topic they want to talk, they know that they can come um, at a specific time. Mm -hmm. OK. OK, so I, um, I haven't sent out the email to, to solicit volunteers, but I'll do that today. And yeah, also that people uh, remind someone reminded me is compared to um, previous edition. In this case, people to come to the stand. I um, mean, I mean, it's a voluntary base, right? They have to go right. to a specific website and so on. So it's highly advised to have content that would attract the people, um, because we'll be in competition with obviously presentation that would happen at the same time. Um, mm -hmm. So we need to be sure that we have contents that we can show, demos that we can show. Um, mm -hmm. And the thing is, because we have a website, we can, for instance, also provide links um, to, 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 I mean, to multiple videos. So we don't, we don't necessarily have to, to stream everything. We can also just reference to other uh, materials. Okay. So the, the website that we have is generated by Hugo, um, if you're familiar with that. So we just have uh, to write some, some markdown. Um, so it, yeah, we should also plan some time to, to work on that. I, I, I can share all the instruction that I received. Um, until now, Marky also received um, the same emails than me. So. I'm not the only one to have all the information. Okay, all right. Um, uh, Marky, uh, is Marky on the line? I'm sorry, I don't know. Yep, yeah, I'm here. Oh, hi, Marky. Hi, so, good morning. Good morning. So um, I'll probably follow up with you and see um, what I can do to help in this space. That's okay? Yep, that'll be, that'll be great. Okay. So, uh, Alyssa and I had had this conversation and we, I didn't have the, the really great idea that Olivia just described that an agenda of topics for the stand is really a healthy thing because then we can put contributors into, specific contributors into their topic. So the example that I liked from Olivia was, hey, if you're interested in, in the Jenkins operator for Kubernetes, we might ask Vibhav Bobade to be there. If you're interested in Prometheus, we might ask Mar Marky to be there. If you're interested in um, a certain dark uh, source control system, I could be there. Uh, the, those, the, the idea being we choose not just who's going to be there, but the theme that we talk about, or Victor Martinez might be there to talk about his CI techniques. So, uh, Alyssa, does that sound okay to you in terms of not just volunteers, but we also slot them with themes or topics during their time? Oh, yeah, I, I think that would be great. That would be much more helpful, I think. Okay. Well, Alyssa, I'll find some time on your calendar. Are you around tomorrow? Yeah. No, I'll find some time on your calendar. I think both you and I sort of work early in the morning. Yeah. Not early, early, but... Uh, so we can get something kind of maybe before the, the big work day starts. Yeah. Cool. Great. And and also I have a stupid question, but are we planning to do some goodies or to send goodies or whatever? Because this is something that we usually to the do to the previous edition. Obviously this year it sounds a bit complicated, but yeah, I just want to clarify on that topic. I've been watching the uh, the mailing list, the positive mailing list, and some of the things that I've been seeing on there have been a lot of confusion. So I think we can, but uh, maybe I need to put the ask again and ask in the mailing list to get a more de definitive answer. And I'll do that today. This is maybe a silly question, but is this a positive hoodie or a Jenkins hoodie? Sorry, ask your question again, Cara. I didn't quite understand your question. Is it, would the, the hoodie in question be a Fosdem hoodie or a Jenkins hoodie? I'm just curious. No, no, so the Jenkins, Jenkins goodies, not hoodie. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, no, okay. 
Nice. So right. some swag well, from Jenkins. Well, yeah. So so what 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 we did in the past was in order to persuade people to come to the booth, if they came to the stand and asked a question, we would give them a sticker. Okay. A, a very small sticker, but the sticker was was the reward. Definitely not. Or or we would also sell them a T-shirt. Uh, if they wanted to purchase a T-shirt, but I, I assume we're not particularly interested in attempting to sell T-shirts that we then have to spend the energy to ship. So, so, yeah. Olivier, did I understand your question correctly? Yeah. That it's really yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay. I, I just wanted to clarify uh, on that uh, because yeah. I still have a large sticker collection uh, from the ambassadors for Jenkins, so I can maybe take that and send. If people come and ask a question, I can send them out somehow get their information and send them a few stickers. That might yeah, be a that, lot of work for you, Marky. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> given and expensive. We, we, yeah. we tend to get we tend to get well, it was easy to have 20 or 30 people in an hour come by the t the stand. Oh. So so I, I don't think we want to have you mailing things unless we're going to put yeah. money in your pocket to to do it. But it, it's it, Alyssa knows that maybe the two of you discuss it tomorrow when you're when you're talking further that, hey, is there anything we could do about this? Okay. My assumption is we wouldn't. We, yeah. we, we could we, we, we could organize a game, uh, like say like 10 person would receive stickers or whatever. But yeah. Mm. Yeah, if you figure out a way to gamify it, um, because that's something that we like at the CDF, we really learned the hard way in shipping out swag. Um, we overspent on our budget on the shipping costs. Yeah. Right. So that that's the only, that's the slippery slope. Yeah. 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 That's the same challenge that I'm experiencing with Jenkins is the way as well. It's the shipping and because of COVID and during the holidays, it, it just, add it more havoc just for everybody yeah um yeah like we're trying to figure out how do we do digital swag that would be interesting for folks um so i'm always keen on if if, if new ideas show up because well we need to figure that out too for cdcon on our side i really like that badge system that everybody's been doing i know the lf was doing that like where if you're a speaker you get that digital badge that you could put on your LinkedIn profile. Yeah. I found a lot of people took advantage of that. Like oh. not in a bad way, but they actually really enjoyed that. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, exactly. That's we did that for CDCon too. And we'll, we'll probably do that uh, again. But um hmm. yeah, I don't know. I like this is... I like that idea. Okay. Anything else on the FOSDEM topic? Because we 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 need to go to the next topic, which is also Olivier. All right, virtual virtual contributor summit, the contributor summit. Olivier, you want to take the? Oh, you're muted. So yeah, sorry. Um, so basically, we when when we have many contributors going to a major event like the FOSDEM, we usually like to organize a virtual. Uh, a contributor summit um, to highlight the different initiatives, um, do some demos, and so on. The thing is, because because we have the first time coming this year, um, I was thinking that would be a nice opportunity to organize a virtual contributor summit. But obviously, since we don't have um, everybody flying in the same location. We don't have, I mean, we don't necessarily need to organize um, the event before or right after for them. So, but I, I still think it would be nice to organize because it's always a good moment to, 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 to look at, uh, to look at what are different things that people are contributing. And um... agreed. So this one, Olivia, I had given myself the action item. If you're okay with me taking it to submit a proposal to the advocacy and outreach. Uh, SIG to the to advocacy for an agenda, an agenda and some organizing techniques, etc. I think it's the right idea, and, and propose a, propose dates. Now, my thought on dates was approximately one week after, one to two weeks after Fosdom finished, is that 
generally okay for you or would you prefer it be immediately after FOSM? What guidance would you give? So personally, I would like to, I would prefer one or two weeks after FOSDEM because, okay. um, because the organization of FOSDEM this year is a bit, little bit more complicated because it's an online event. And also because we don't have the constraints of having everybody at the same time, we could also, let's imagine, split the event into multiple days. Um, so we don't ask people to spend their day attending the contributor summit. Um, we could just organize some topics that we want to cover and split them on, on smaller session that people could attend either at the end of the day or beginning of the day. Right. Yeah, so point. Like follow the sun. I've seen some other venues, uh, uh, events do that where they follow the sun to sort of honor time zones. And Olivia, are you thinking that we do like an all day event like the ones that we did in person? No, no, no. That's that's what I'm suggesting to 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 split that you know, on multiple days. Um, ah, in sorry. that in that in yeah in that in that case, we could let's say imagine some session that would be morning for people in the in the in the US, uh, morning for people in Europe, and same for Asia. As long as we have uh, the people who can. Um, I see. Okay, so so it's probably like an hour a day, and we 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 spread it out over a couple of days. Gotcha. And, and, and the, the advantage of that is also we can, for instance, if people, if we realize that we have a topic that we really want to cover um, in, during the event, we can still um, ex expand the event to say, let's continue on Friday and just take one hour um, mm -hmm. because we don't have the physical constraints. Right. And now, Alyssa, you had mentioned one hour. I'm prone to look for blocks of two hours personally. Yeah. I'm open to others. Have you? I don't have much experience in this space. Is is it better to do a one-hour session like these, or to do a two-hour session, or no, no, no opinion? So personally, I would do a first session slightly longer, like two, maybe three hours, and then only plan one-hour session for the coming for the following days. Okay, great, good suggestion. Thank you. And typically, because uh, in previous contributor summits, we typically don't have that many people that attend um, the contributor summit. So I can help out with getting swag out if there aren't too many people. <laughs> but on that topic, uh, I would just prepare the swag, but I would not announce anything in advance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because, because, yeah, because you can have many people attending the event since yeah. um, it's an online event. And you're... Yeah. 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 We'll just take notes uh, and take names after the event, possibly, or after each um, sub event, and then, you know, make sure that they are there for, the, for you know, earn their swag. Yes. Yeah. Great. Excellent. Anything else on the Contributor Summit? Um, so who is leading the effort of the agenda? Mark. So Mark. that's me. Ah, Mark. Yeah. Okay. yeah, absolutely. Good question. Very good question. Um, I haven't sent it yet. I will try to get it sent out today or tomorrow. So that the advocacy uh, SIG mailing list has it and we'll start working it in a Google Doc. Got it. Thank you, Mark. Sorry, I missed that. Oh, no, no problem. And this will be an excuse. I, if, if time needs it, it will be an excuse for me to use breakout sessions in Zoom. I've found mm. them to be quite helpful in other contexts. It might be fun to try it here. Anything why, else why, on? Oh, go ahead, Olivia. Yeah, I was just wondering why we are um, identified leaders. Um, who's leading the, the Jenkins stand? Oh, good question. I uh, That's who is leading it? Leading because this Jenkins? I mean, I guess I can help so, on that, but yeah, I'm sorry. I, yeah, actually, so, I, I, go ahead, Alyssa. Oh, I was just gonna say, I, I, um, I can volunteer myself and um, I'll, I'll work with Marky as well and Olivier. That's perfect. 
Is this the uh, Ask the Expert stand? Uh, well, it's it Jenkins stand at Fosdom. Oh, the oh, I thought we were talking about the contributor summit. I apologize. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's just, yeah, it's just because we were discussing about who will lead the, the contributor summit. I just said that we did not reassign um, leaders. I mean, on the on the stand. So yeah, I I, I will definitely be working uh, on that as well, and I can sync with you tomorrow on that, Alyssa. Yeah. yeah. Great. All right. So, Alyssa, since you've had experience with the stand before, I, I think we, we definitely want you leading that. Yeah. And Marky, that excellent. Thank you. Great to have you both. Okay. Anything else on either Jenkins, Jenkins at Fosdom or Contributor Summit? Okay. Then Jackie. Give the shortening, oh, Jackie. No worries. Um, so yeah, the CDCom CFP is open. Um, we want to make sure that Jenkins and Jenkins X um, has really good representation. So one of the things that we are coming to the communities and asking them for help is um, to spread the word and to encourage um, community members to submit papers. Um, and I think one of the other things um, that I'll be asking the community for help is if we can get a set of volunteers um, who will also help us review the Jenkins and Jenkins X submissions um, for each of those tracks for, for CDCon. Um, so that, that, that's also something that Tracy asked me to, to bring um, to the advocacy. A meeting. So that's, that's really the big announcement there. CDCon is free this year. Registration is already open. Um, so yeah, just, you know, helping, helping get the Jenkins community there would be great in Jenkins X community. Jackie, do you have access to use hmm. the mailing list, uh, the Jenkins? I think I haven't applied for it. <laughs> Okay. Um, so yeah, I need to, I need to get on that too. Okay. Well, if not, then, you know, um, you can send me the content and I can help send out the email to the dev list. Okay, cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So. Alyssa, you're okay acting as that. And certainly your your yeah. your name will be more recognized to most of the Jenkins community than Jackie's. No offense, Jackie, but that's okay. Alyssa's <laughs> deep, deeply in there. And so it may give more credibility if she shares that. That's great. Yeah, that's that's true. Gotta get the heavy hitters in here. <laughs> Happy to help. Thanks, Alyssa. Yeah. Anything else on CDCon and the CFP? Um, no, that's it. Just, you know, making sure that folks know and that we encourage um, women and, uh, you know, underrepresented communities to apply as well. That's like a big, um, one of our big initiatives is just to make sure that we make space at the table for diversity and inclusion. Great. Thank you. All right. Alyssa, next topic. Jenkins marketing ideas for 2021. All right, so um, so Cloud Bees has given me a budget uh, to spend for Jenkins marketing for this year. Um, I had a uh, Mark and Oleg and I had a chat earlier this week, um, and we thought you know, I will continue with Jenkins is the way campaign, which is you know looking for user stories and doing case studies and doing testimonial videos. Uh, but we will also expand, will extend to inviting, um, doing stories from the, um, the open source foundations or um, the open source um, um, projects. So I will do that. But then I'm also, we will also have a, a set of money set aside for swag for conferences and such. But then what are some other things that um, that we that can we do to help promote Jenkins? Um, how can I use this money? <laughs> I guess like how much money do you have? <laughs> so so um, let's say a hundred K. 
Um, so one of the things, Alyssa, I don't know um, if you've thought about this as well, but um, we have that add-on for CDCon to do co-located events. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you have like complete control of how you would shape that day zero event. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's like somewhere in like the 30 ballpark range. So that could be something too that, um, you know, it's like a day before CDCon gets launched um, that is dedicated to just like Jink either a Jenkins workshop or, you know, um, whatever the, the community decides. Okay, and that would be, and that would be messaged as um, sponsored by CloudBees. And can we in also include CloudBees content yeah. on there? Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, because it's if it would be sponsored by CloudBees, CloudBees has complete control over it, right? Mm -hmm. um, but that is also something that like we're trying to figure out how do we bring like Spinnaker. Um, summit as a co-located uh, day zero event. So that is also something that Jenkins um, and CloudBees uh, could do if, if okay. it were of interest. Okay. And this would be in addition to the Diamond sponsorship? Um, I believe there's like a package. Mm -hmm. um, so like uh, it would... I, I, there's a little bit of a discount off of the Diamond, right? But the co-located mm -hmm. event then... Um, is is a, an a, an additional price? Okay, okay. And then the co-located event is only one day, just kind of like the same as as yeah, one day. But yeah, so what we're trying to to do also to make sure it's a value for for people is um like we would make sure that not only is it a day zero event, but that the Jenkins content is very well integrated into the CD overall CDCon program. Um, Okay. So, so just, like, to, just to clarify, this is a, uh, an online event, right? Yes, it's an online event, exactly. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Jackie. I'll I'll put this down for consideration. Yeah. I mean, um, or like I said, also figuring out other events that exist out there where, you know, Jenkins can also, you know, it the the contents catered around Jenkins. Mm -hmm. you you raise an interesting point i hadn't thought of this i'm cara is speaking at a couple of con conferences upcoming and i'm speaking at a conference i hadn't thought of gee should we attempt to broaden the jenkins impact into those conferences uh maybe that's something Alyssa, you and i and cara should discuss separately just to see hey are there ways we could use some of this, these marketing funds to mm -hmm. broaden our, our impact into these conferences we're already speaking anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I love to learn how we can do that. Yeah, Cara, do you have any, any insights there? I know you're, you're actively working as a speaker, but are there, I assume they haven't talked to you about, hey, would you like to be more sponsor than speaker or in addition to sponsor? No, what I got, I got an interesting, this is so, this is very, um, this is very random actually. I got, I got a message, um, if I can dig it up, I'll have to look for it. I got a message internally from, from, um, someone at, at Cloudbees being like you and Anders are speaking at developers week and there is some sort of marketing push out there. They were, they were just asking like, how was this arranged? Who was involved? What is the marketing push? So there, there are different. I'll, I'll ping you and Alyssa. We'll, we'll discuss further. I think it would be good. Hey, I have to okay. find this okay. message. Um, Anders replied, and I said same for me <laughs> because it was true. It's the same path into the conference for both of us. So, um, but there are there are people looking at this from within parties. So I'll, I'll follow up with you both. Okay. okay. All right. Any other ideas? Um, sorry, I know that uh, Tracy Reagan is managing a CI CD track for an event, but I can't remember. It's it's kind of in the future. It's like in um, in April, mm -hmm. uh, so that could also be another opportunity to to do submissions um, around Jenkins content. Um, I don't think you have to pay for it, but 
um, you know, just an okay. idea. Yeah. Anything okay. else, Alyssa? Uh, no, that's it for me. If, if uh, I guess if the team can think of anything else, um, just respond to my email that I started in the, um, the advocacy and outreach SIG uh, email. That'd be great. Super, thanks. Cara, next topic, Google Summer of Code. Google Summer of Code. Okay, I put a couple links into the doc. Um, we have four draft project ideas, which actually, thank you so much for submitting yours, Mark. Very excited. They are quite close to being ready to be bumped up from draft to, you know, full on accepted project ideas. The only thing that would really beef them up would be additional mentors. So we kind of need call outs for, for getting more mentors in there. We're also still very open for additional project ideas. There's a project idea that I'm really excited about um, that's been suggested on the um, the GSOC, the Jenkins GSOC mailing list on Cloud Events plugin for Jenkins. I think it's a great idea. Love to see that as a GSOC project. So if anybody, if you wanted to comment on that uh, email thread and give feedback, that's always really helpful. And then we can get that going as a draft idea as well. That would then make five really good ones. Um, Again, mentors can jump onto any of those ideas and suggest additional ideas. We, Jenkins as a project generally has more than five suggested GSOC ideas. So we, we definitely, you know, yeah, as, as, as Mark is writing, 10 is about what we had last year and that's what we'll be looking for. So we're definitely uh, trying to garner more ideas right now. Um, and there's a lot of exciting developments happening around cloud events and security and interoperability. So there's a lot of area where like really interesting work can be done that students will be super excited about. So hopefully uh, we will get more engagement if you all want to give shout outs within your individual channels. Um, yes, Gareth has very nicely said he would mentor. Thank you, Mark, for writing that down. Um, but if you wanted to give shout outs within your individual channels, uh, or people that you know who might be interested in mentoring or have project ideas, that would be really appreciated. And then just to piggyback on that, also mm -hmm. like um, we, with permission from Kara, we uh, plagiarized her blog, but update it to all of the CDF projects. And I also just sent out an email this morning to the TOC um, calling for mentors for all of the CDF projects and also project ideas. So we're also collecting project ideas. Um, uh, Tara Hernandez is going to um, be the org admin. And she said she would um, submit our application um, to uh, Google Summer of Code. Um, so I'll also try to figure out how many projects we have from the other projects um, as well. We have, we actually have a, a boilerplate application to Google Summer of Code that we've used in the past. So happy to have, share that with Tara as a, as an assist for her. So the Jenkins project has, we've, uh, has a template. Okay, cool. Yeah, that would that be great. But... We've used for submissions in the past. Yes, if we could, if we could share that, um, I'm happy to, to make sure she receives that. Great. So, Great. and Cara, go ahead, Cara. So one of the things that I picked up the thread a little bit more with Tracy, just kind of think we, uh, I probably need to discuss this a little bit more, more with you, Mark, but we are thinking that it might be beneficial for Jenkins to be within that um, CDF umbrella for GSOC org. So not its separate org with Jenkins X, but in fact, both projects within the CDF umbrella. I think that may work better. Um, yeah, and we, and uh, it looks like Dan Lawrence, the TOC chair, um, had a conversation with the Google Pro, uh, GSOC like, program people. Um, and so they just said, hey, in your application, make a note. Um, and basically the 
Jenkins and Jenkins X like allocation of like you know of 10 or so we'll we'll get we'll consider and get grandfathered into the cdf application so they so that was the, but we, they just said just make sure you you make that note and tara is aware of that so right are there uh jackie well while we're discussing this are there any additional meetings within the cdf that i should be attending then for gsoc um, I think it's been, it gets discussed at the TOC. Okay. So, um, I would, yeah, just plug in there if, if you have a chance, um, and yeah. if not, then just let me know and I can always, like, I think we'll, what we'll end up having to do, I think we'll just need to get together with Tara before the application. Okay. Sounds yeah. great. Thank you. Okay. I have a question. To the team, does somebody have a dog sleeping or a cat sleeping or a baby? Oh, sleeping? yes, it's my dog. <laughs> I, figured, I just wanted to know because I was like, is that a voice in my head that I'm hearing snoring? Do I need a nap now? No, it's Lily. <laughs> no, Lily, I said good morning. Okay, any, any other topics on Google Summer of Code? Cara, I think well, you're no, that's, that's good. Yeah, no, that's that's good. Um, thank you. Okay, any the last item was just a status report. CD, we we met our commitment to CDF. Congratulations to the, the CDF final report draft. Well done. Uh, anything else that needs to be on the agenda today? Okay, then let's call this meeting done. Uh, the recording will be available after I've done um, the post-processing and I'll post the link to the recording into these notes. Thanks everybody.